Hello there, gamers, Minecrafters, explorers, and adventurers. I am the Killer Gamer. We've got a mod pack series here for you, and this is All the Mods Zero. No, it's not the original All the Mods. That belongs to All the Mods with no number <laughs> or one. No, Zero, they went back and said, hey, what kind of mods, uh, classic mods, can we find and put together for a kitchen sink pack for Minecraft version 1.7.10? And here we go. That's what this is. So we are going to go ahead and play and explore. And we're going to have fun with it. This is not going to be a regular monthly series because I don't know how popular this series is going to be. Uh, but I am planning it for like the fifth uh, Wednesday of, of every month. So it'll come every every few months or so. But I think it would be kind of fun just to kind of play through this and uh, see how all these old mods are. Now, if this series does pick up in popularity, uh, then I'll consider moving it to, you know, every month. And if it's really popular, it'll be every week. But <laughs> got to start somewhere. So this is where we're going to start. All right, let's go ahead and create a world. And let's call this uh, Killer Ground Zero. <laughs> I, I try to get creative, you know. All right, hardcore. We'll play this in hardcore mode. Preview. This is interesting. I wonder what that does. All right, so Killer Ground Zero, world type realistic. I think that's where we're going to want to keep it. Yeah, let's put it on realistic. This preview is interesting. I've never seen this. Let's see what preview does. I guess this is the seed that comes up. Keep world. Does it show us anything? Apply. Hold on. Apply seed. Let's see what this does. No? <laughs> Start gen? <laughs> Generation control? I don't know. Uh, I thought it might, like, show us something here. Java memory cleanup. Blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know. Maybe if you folks know about this, you could tell me what it is. That's interesting. All right, so this this is it. This is what we're going to go with. Okay. We are here. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'm like, where the heck's the world? I'm like, there's some... Like, I wasn't sure where in the world I was at. Dragon API version... Whatever, whatever. Hold control to be able to click this message. Okay. Yeah. It's all out of date. Uh, yeah, we don't care. There. Moo! This is a very interesting... Look at these freaking trees! Holy crap! These trees are big! Oh. 
the rounded logs and stuff. This is kind of really interesting. Okay, so I don't have a... All right, looks like we got an old version of Journey Map here. Let's try to find a good place to... There's a bunch of cows. Look at all the cows. All right, there is... In this direction... According to the map... Yeah. Just come over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> Is that a spider? I'll be dang. All right, we'll just go over this way. <laughs> like, seriously? I haven't even made a freaking sword yet. And he's got one. That spider's coming over here, too. This is not the direction I wanted to go. Did we lose him? No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think we lost them. All right, we need more wood here. I was in the process of getting wood. Rubber wood. Oh, that figures. I can't change it in the. Oh, that was a waste. What's this right here? I hear these sounds. I'm like, okay, is something going to get me or what? Because I don't know. All right. What is that? That looks like magic or something over there. We're going to take a look at all these books here in a moment. Alright, is there another... That's rubber. We don't want rubber. Ooh, here we go. Fallen logs. This is before they added them to official Minecraft. There, we got a white mushroom here. Anything else here? What is that? I don't know, do I want to get close to it? Void reads. Let's, I don't know what it does, but let's not mess with it. Mm. 
the swamp area here. That'll come in handy later. Cattails. Uh, I don't need that. What time is it? Okay, it's midday. And where are we? We want to go... Not that direction. We want to go this direction. We're going to go ahead and just put ourselves under here for the night. And it's dark. Because <laughs> of course it is. You know what I need? Half slab. If I put a half slab right there, we got some light. Okay, that's better than no light. The problem is, is I can't see a dang thing. be great if I could actually see. I can't see a thing. It's like dark and everything. Okay, well, I guess we won't be doing too much there. Alright, well, let's take a look at the books and see what we got here. Got quite a few books. Alright, open computers. I don't see us doing anything with that anytime soon. Materials in you. That is Tinker's Construct. Dirt, mushrooms, rubber tree samplings. What the hell are we going to do with that? Quest book. There we go. Reactor craft, electric craft, rotary craft, chromic lexicon, open computers manual. Let's just take a look at these right here. I want to see what these say. Open Computers is a mod that adds persistent, modular, and highly configurable computers, servers, robots, and drones to the game. All devices can be programmed using Lua 5.2. I recognize this! <laughs> Lua, this is used in uh, X-Plane. Allowing for, for plugins. Allowing for systems with varying complexity depending on the usage. Alright, so here is the stuff. Computer servers, micro, blah, 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 blah. Overview. Computers and open computers feature persistence, which means that a running computer retains its state when the chunk it is in is unloaded. This means that if the player moves away from the computer or logs off, 
The computer will remember its last known state and continue from that point on when the player goes near the computer. Interesting. All devices are modular and can be assembled with a wide range of components, just like computers in real life. All right, that's a lot of stuff to read. <laughs> It's really dark. Like, I don't even have a sword. I have a pickaxe. Alright, there's a crafting table. My crafting table's right there. I didn't want to build a wooden uh, thing, but that's fine. What we got to be careful of are creepers, because a creeper could come right over here and blow up, and that would not, that would be a bad day. <laughs> I suppose I could have just pillared up. All right, so let's take a look at the Chromic. What is this? Getting started? The Lexicon. This world is strange, confusing, and unknown. You have no idea what drives or forms it. Something you will need to learn before you can possibly begin to exploit it and bend the forces to your needs. Fortunately for you, you have a notebook of sorts, though you will need to populate it with information you collect as you explore and experiment. Mm -hmm. Seeing as you are learning this as you go along, you will be required to piece together your understanding from various fragments of information, supplemented by your own reasoning and experimentation. Rarely will one item or event hold all the information you need, and particularly various notes, though incomplete on their own, might become more complete when thought of together. Also, for some reason, sneaking when navigating the book accelerates the process. Okay. Is that clear as mud? <laughs> well, so far there's nothing near us. There's a spider there. Skeleton. Oh, what looks like a slime. Right over here. Okay, we'll put that right there. Now we got the rotary craft table of contents. Terms and physical physics explanations, engines, transmission, converters, production, farming, piping, a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't got a clue about. Rotary craft. Gearboxes. Just basically machines. Oh, I got something. <laughs> I got something for looking at the book. Electric craft. Here's another thing. Page one. Introduction. Electrical power. Light goes off the page here. Electrical power is measured with two parameters. How do you get... Is is this page one? Next. Oh, introduction. It's got nothing. <laughs> introduction doesn't have anything. Conversion machines. So, I don't know. Conversion machines... These are used to transfer a minute. Okay, I think I'm understanding what they're getting here. So, like, there's this, and it's these things are used to transport and manipulate electrical power. These tools are used to store electrical power. Yeah, batteries, that makes sense. These are for specialized purposes. Okay. There's something coming this way. Yeah. 
It's out there. There's a slime that just that just showed up. And disappeared. I don't see it now. I'll right, we'll put that there. Reactor craft. All right, well, let's see what this is. It's another one of those books. So page two, you have to hit this plus button. I wonder if you can hit the plus button also if that works. So that's the table of contents. Here's the introduction. An introduction to nuclear reactions, nuclear reactors, and their design. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. Shielding. Let's see, introduction, processing machines. There's that. Power generation, turbine generator. A whole bunch of stuff that I have no clue <laughs> on what to do. Knowledge is power. Yay. Now the actual quest book. So we'll take a look at that here. Uh-oh, there is a creeper. There's a creeper that's showing up over here. Hmm. He's over here off to the side. The creeper is like right over here. The other thing is right over here. do right now all the mods quest lines getting started welcome welcome to ATM zero the quest book will provide provide a basic guide through the early game it's that time again punch some trees you'll need plenty of wood for the next task all right we need eight oak logs look at that he's like hanging them right there there's a skeleton hanging out right there there's a spider I need to find another place Need to find a much better place to hang out than here. Waiting for daylight. They are all like hanging around here. Look at this. Spiders waiting for me. Creepers over here. This thing is hopping all over the place. Two two skeletons waiting for me over here. Leave me alone. I wasn't bothering you. my crafting table. Okay. I 
got my crafting table. Is that an Enderman over there? I think it is. There's a spider there. There he is. Come on. Come here. All right, who else is here? Just him. All right. This is not the way I want to go. Run. Crap. There's another one. I was going to get that stuff. All right. Hold on. Cows. Run. <laughs> Freaking skeletons are all over the place. There's like one in there, too. What do we have? Pigs. Okay, there's pigs over here. Let's get up here. What is that? I hope that's a friendly guy. Crimson Knight? Is there maybe a village near here? Is he protecting the... Like, he's like right there next to the cows and stuff. Maybe he's protecting them. need regular cobblestone. That's what I need. Alright, let's just make a wooden axe. Why is that not working? Because I have to use... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Shoot. I have to use Tinker's Construct in order to make tools. I can't just make them the regular way.
This tool cannot mine anything. Same thing there. Wow, okay. Well, it's good to know that that was absolutely useless. I'll just take these and throw them out there. What's up with the, uh... Do you see that? Look look at the white stuff that's, like, going up into the sky there. I'm just collecting wood right now. I'd like to find a place that doesn't have a whole lot of trees. some chickens this direction. Chromatic craft. The growth pattern of these flowers literally jumping from location to location is no doubt a hint to their utility. Huh. They got mossy cobblestone, but... Oh, pff, that's right. I can't mine anything right now anyway. I've got to make all the Tinker's Construct stuff. I'm just trying to find a safe place that I can... That I can go. But I do get... Drugged? <laughs> what the heck? That was weird. Oh, maybe I will play this like once a month or something. I don't know. This is this is interesting. I saw this over there in the other thing too. What is that? Not another swamp? Come on. Really? Oh, there's a creeper near here. Nice open area would be great. Would be fantastic. Not these swamp areas. All these trees. This is a little better. Okay, this is more like it. This is better. Alright. Alright, let's make a place right here.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, we got this, so... I guess we'll put our crafting table there. Let's make a chest. Put some of this stuff in there. these books rubber wood I have no idea what we're going to use that for I got some leather Ugh. I don't like where we spawn this is just an ugly place I hate this need to find a better place Okay, put a half slab there. Nothing's going to be able to get in. That was a weird sound. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> what is that sound? It's like nothing but trees all over the place. This wasn't too bad of an area here. That was a little bit more open. And maybe there's something over here. I don't know. But we got chickens and pigs over here. Cows over on this side. Venomous skeleton became lethally agile. Okay. <laughs> Should I be worried? All right, so this this we did, yay! Tinker's construct. All right, here's all that stuff we gotta make. Vanilla pickaxes are disabled. You need to create some new tools. Fantastic. Uh, at least the wooden sword works. And we have to put it in a sort certain way, too. And it's, and it's dark, so I can't really see. I would have grabbed some cobblestone or digged or something, so that way I could make charcoal. Which, is that a thing? Let's find out uh, if we can do charcoal. Let's see, it's down here. Charcoal. It appears that we can burn logs with something. What is this? Why is this shelf in here? I hope that's not the only thing that you need to be able to make charcoal. Okay, what about um, 
the rubber wood. What can we make with rubber wood? Anything? So from industrial craft too. Rubber tree leaves. Rubber sheets. Rubber. Rubber boots. Hmm. Black wool. Burn sticky resin to get that. Burn ball of glue to get this. I don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. Yeah, because we don't have anything that's going to change this. Yeah, I don't think, anyway. Steam scrubber. Rubberized electron tube. Basically nothing. <laughs> right now, basically, basically nothing. Alright, what about leather armor? We can make regular leather armor. Imp armor, imp leather. Hardened leather. That's from Pam's Harvest Craft. That's from the original one. How do you make hardened leather? Oh, you need beeswax. Or wax. And this. <clears throat> That's protection two. That's protection one. So hardened leather is a little bit better. Looks like it lasts longer. Hmm. Okay, so how do we make wax? We need a pot and candleberry. And that makes wax. Or beeswax. You need a presser to be able to change that. I believe there's food. All right. <laughs> We're back here. My wife had come home and brought some fazolis. So, obviously I'm not going to play during all of that. <clears throat> so yeah, okay, so where are we here with this? We got the Tinker's Construct stuff that we gotta make. We got a crafting station, stencil table, pattern chest, part builder. We got all five of these things that we need to build. And there's a certain way that you need to put them so they all kind of interconnect with each other. Well, we can sort of get that started here. <clears throat> um, I think, what, two sticks and two planks? Yeah, makes patterns. That's good, because we're going to need... Look at this! You can make wood shears! I didn't know that! Ooh! I'm gonna make that, because if we, if we find some sheep, we can make a bed. And skip these knights. Okay, now I know that... Ah! I was pretty sure that was going to work. No. Dang it. Alright, so... Can we do at and then Tinker's... Tinker's contract? Yeah, actually we can. Alright, so... First things first. Tool station. We need to make the crafting station first. There's also a crafting table in that.
<clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and make a crafting table. We've got one. Oh, the sun's coming up. There's that. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Tool station. Basically what we need is this. Okay, put that there. Right there. And right there. There we go, we got our tool station. And we got two more books. <coughs> Then we got the part builder. Pine wood, plum wood, maple wood. That right there. One of those. And then we got the part builder. Pattern chest is basically a chest in one of those things. And then stencil table. It's just is oak planks. Okay. I could do that too. Put that there. Another pattern. Whoops. This goes here. That goes there. And we need to make a chest. There's that. All right. What else do we need to make a? Do we make need to make the crafting station? I think we do. Look at this. Why would we need? I guess because you can set it on top of something. Okay, it looks like there's creepers right outside. Yep, there he is right there. There's a creeper right outside, too. I'll be dang. He's trying to get to me. He's over there. I don't think there's a way we're going to be able to get around this. Copper ore. Okay.
Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. Was that a werewolf? Dang it! I don't want the half slab. Could put these things over here. Okay, great. Now we got all of the stuff that we need here. Uh, let's take a look at our quest book. We got two quest books. I'm not sure how we got two. All right, so we got the pickaxe head, tool banding. We got that stuff we got to do. All right, so we need to put this in order here. I'm not quite sure how. I think... Crafting station is like right here, maybe. That's the part builder. That's the stencil table. That's the tinker table. This is the tool station. All right, so we need to build a part, place a pattern and material to the left. Let's get some more wood. Is the sun going down already? That doesn't have... Let's see here. We got patterns. We need to make the pattern. 
All right, so what we need, according to this, we need a pickaxe head pattern, tool binding, and tool rod. All right, so. This is like not, not uh, giving what we want here. It's not telling us the name of it, which is kind of annoying. Tool rod, tough rod, all right. We know we're gonna want an ax head. Can't see a thing. All right, so where's that? I'm like looking for my door here. More tinker stuff. I need a bookcase. use a bookcase. Uh. Now I don't even know where I'm looking. <laughs> Gravel, oak planks. I'm all turned around. I can't see a damn thing. Okay, there's the door. Crafting station, okay. We need, we got the axe head. We're going to need another tool rod and another, oh, wait a minute. I don't think once we made the, that's right. I think once we made the pattern, we don't need it. All right. Um, okay. So now we got the part builder. put something here. Is that not enough? Well, this is different. There's the pattern chest. Okay, so we can put these in the pattern chest. Okay. Don't really need that. Place a pattern and a material on the left to get started. Great, okay, well, we did. These are the stencils. Then we got the crafting station. This is repair and modification. The main way to repair or change your tools. Place a tool and a material on the left to get started. Then we got the tools station. So we want to make a pickaxe. So we have to put this, we have to get these to be able to put them together. So 
So we need to build the parts here. So I need to figure out why we can't Why is that not working? No? I thought maybe it might work if we put it down here, but... Cause see, it looks like you put blocks here and then iron nuggets or something out there. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we need to pull out our materials in you, our Tinker's Construct Manual here. Where is it? I know we have... Oh, here it is. Do some reading here. All right. Getting started. Recipes. Armor. Okay. Welcome to the first edition of Materials and You. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the blank pattern. Here's the stencil table. Part crafter. Pattern chest. Here's a tool forge. I wonder what that does. And a drying rack. Some Sometime in your travels you'll happen upon the bush known as the Orberry. They grow underground in dark areas and require close to complete darkness to produce anything. The berries can be melted down into nuggets and ingots, making them an, an invaluable source of metals. There's a mighty skeleton out there somewhere. Here's what the Orberries look like. Slime channels are useful for moving items or entities around the world. They are used as a sort of easily placeable water. Here's the slime channel. And a bounce pad. That's interesting. A few traps or blockades may help with your early survival. A punji stick. Huh. And a barricade. Once you're well established, you can begin to process metals in a more efficient manner. Okay. There's grout. Seared brick. Put those together and you get that. Put this together and you get this. If you ever find yourself without this book, a new one is simple to make. <laughs> what if you don't have the book and don't know the recipe? All right. Materials. Oh, that's. Oh, this is how you make a book. I guess. A mighty smelting. Night vision. Apparently, carrots and juice are not only good for your eyes, but for your goggles as well. The night vision potion also helps. So you get this. Oh, and you get. goggles. Oh, we have to figure out how to make those. Perfect dodge, ninja ninja. Oh no. It's like I hear it. There's a baby zombie. There he is, right there. He's moving awfully quick. And he doesn't burn up during the day.
So we got to figure out. Stealth traveling gear is not very protective, therefore I make some magical items. Feather fall. Water walk. Tool station lead boots. Slimy souls. When I jump on slime, I bounce and don't take damage. I should be able to rep replicate that effect. Interesting. Speed putting redstone on my weapons make it faster, so why don't I put it on my hands? Creates mining speed. Auto repair. Attaching moss to an armor infuses it with life. The tool appears to be capable of regenerating wear and tear. Double jump. I don't think all this stuff exists in the uh, the older version. Or the newer version of Tinker's Construct. Alright, so let's take a look at materials in you then. Alright, pickaxe. Shovel, hatchet, broadsword, longsword, frying pan. Chisel, battle sign, hammer, lumber axe, wood. Stone, iron, cactus, obsidian. <laughs> Make stuff out of cactus. Paper stacks. This is the tool station. Luck. <sighs> if I could figure out why this is not... Well, now there it goes. Why did that not work before? I think he's like right outside. I don't want a stick. I want the tool rod. How do we do that? Uh. That just gives me sticks. Oh, here we go. Got it. Okay, I see what it's doing. I have to kind of like shift, click it in there or something. What, I can't make a pickaxe with wood? Well, I mean, how else am I supposed to make it? Flint. Okay, we can't make it out of wood. We have to make it out of flint, apparently.
guess we're just going to keep doing this until we get another thing of flint. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get any flint yet. How am I supposed to get flint if I can't... Do I have to do it with my very hands? Maybe we have to put it inside of a crafting table. There's another... There's another um, mod pack that I came across that was like that. In order to make flint, you had to put... Yeah, gravel. Got it. That's what you gotta do. Can't put that in there. Uh, we'll put that in there. Uh. Then we need a tool rod. See, they look the same. There's a wooden tool rod, and then there's a stick. And this is what is coming up left over after you build the stuff okay so now we need to come over here no that one nope not that one Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to click that, and then we can do this, this, and this, and we get nothing. The freaking hell. There we go. We've got our flint pickaxe now. Put that there, put this here, put this here, and that did nothing. Ah, okay, we don't need binding for that. There we go, we got our flint hatchet now. Now, as far as a sword, we need these pieces here. Sword blade, wide guard, and a handle. The zombie went away. And it's like another another dark day again. <laughs> it's, it's like it doesn't take long and then it's dark again. The heck. If I can get some torches or something. But the day goes by so quick. It's like the it's like there's half a day and a full night. You know, I mean it's like what the hell? And I think it's cool that the logs are round and all, but it's kind of annoying with this. So, I don't know, just my thought. Alright, so the stencil table, what do we have here? We need a tough rod, we need a handle or something here. Knife blade, so that's a tool rod, that's not what we need. What is this? 
arrowhead, fletching pattern, bow limb, bow string. So you see the the old version of Tinker's construct was very detailed, and they just didn't make it as detailed later. Wide guard. Okay, we need one of those. Large blade, sword blade. I think we need a sword blade. Chisel head, that's boards, plates. Look at that, the spiders are like right there waiting for me. Okay, we want to make a sword. So we got to make a handle. A white guard and a sword blade. You got rapiers. I've never really tried any of that stuff in the frying pan. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried uh, beating things up with a a uh, frying pan? <laughs> Alright, so we got the wide guard. That's not it. We need the stencil table. We need the sword blade pattern. A tool rod. Tough rod pattern. We need a handle. That's what it said that we need. It was a handle. I don't see anything that says handle here, so I wonder if it's just a tool rod. Here's the part builder. Okay, can I not make anything with... Oh, I can't make anything with... Well, that sucks. Okay, so this explains what we need in order to make it. So we need stone in order to make that. That sucks. Let's put that right there. All right, so we've got a wooden tool rod, the sword blade, so we can use, once again, stone. That's the stuff that we can use right there to make a, st uh, make a blade, but flint is not one of them. That sucks. But when it comes to the tool rod, that we can use uh, wood or bone or tear jerker, whatever that is. There's the door.
Okay, that's done. Torches! Okay, yeah, we haven't made a furnace yet because I haven't been able to do mining. And then charcoal and then torch. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Copper pickaxe. Interesting. The smeltery is your first ore doubling method. You'll need to make this to make metal tools. Okay. I think this is part of Tinker's Construct also. We're going to have to build ourselves a, a house of something. I'd sure like to find a better place than where we're at right now. Is that a baby zombie right there? That one's moving awfully fast. I can't. No. That's not. The two, those two spiders are waiting. What's this over here? Extreme jungle. Should look and see what we can find. I'm looking to see what day we're on. <laughs> I lost, uh, lost count. I don't know what day we're on. We've got 186 mods. Sun's coming back up again. I'm dealing with nasty stuff that's just outside my hut. Yes, a donut would be great. I almost got into the donuts and my wife said, no, there's one of each and we're splitting them. So I'm glad I didn't get into it just yet. Because then she would have split me. My fate would have been worse than what that zombie is out there. Alright, let's jump out here. Ow! Oh my goodness, there's like three of them. Alright, there goes the zombie. Now we got these three spiders to get. <laughs> come here, come here. Okay, yay. Thank goodness.
Okay, now we need to go mining. Oh, of course there's a skeleton over there. Okay, I don't see anything off in this direction. Play. There's a creeper somewhere around here. Okay, now he's over there. Finally found stone.
Oh good, we can finally make torches. Now at least we got torches inside the uh, the place here, so that's something. Where are we at on our quest book here? Oh yeah, we got to do all this stuff. Oh, so yeah, we got to make a copper pickaxe, and then there's this whole smelting thing that we got to do. This can only be used to make cast, cannot be used to make a tool. Really? Well, how are you supposed to mine copper then? There's a pig right outside. What happened to that other piece that I made? Oh, wait a minute. Can't we upgrade tools? With like stone or something? The main way to repair or change your tools, place a tool 
and a material on the left to get started. Okay, well, that just did not do anything, did it? Oh, I see. We can use a flint pickaxe to mine copper, and then we have to get make make a copper pickaxe in order to. Okay. I see. Okay, folks, well, that is five days right there, day one through five. We'd be able to do more days if I could find the sheep and, you know, make a bet, but it doesn't seem like we're anywhere close to anything like that. Yeah, so here I am inside this cramped little <laughs> thing on the edge of a swamp. So, yeah, living the life. All right, well, I know not too much to see on this particular episode, and I know we're not going to be doing this mod pack very often, but if for some reason you do want to see more of this, all the mods zero, then be sure to let me know in the comments. And the more people that watch, the more chances that it will show up on a monthly basis, rather than, uh, you know, every four months that pig is sticking his head through the door. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you on another video. Have a killer awesome day.